Hello and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make an eye zoom transition, like this. Or like this. So that's like the rotation. So first you're going to need a picture, well not a picture, a video, or a picture, it also works actually, of an eye that does not move. It's way easier if it doesn't move. Um, in my case I started with this clip here. Um, and it's quite like not stable and uh, eye moves and I ended up with this one here which is way better. So I'm using this, I'm just gonna drag it onto my timeline, put it on my third track and add a rotoscoping effect. I'm sure you're surprised, it's not like I always use, use it. So I'm gonna make a circle around my eye. Well, not really the eye, the iris, I guess. I'm going to zoom in a little and I'm going to actually change the alpha operation to maximum to be able to see where my border is. Okay, that looks good. I'm going to change it back to subtract. Well, not back, I'm going to change it to subscribe. Subtract and add a little bit of feathering. Okay, this keyframe actually I can move it to around one second before the end, so like maybe around here, so I'm gonna move it to around here and I'm gonna add a keyframe, the frame before and I'm gonna move my rotoscoping mask out of frame and for the first frame I'm gonna do the same thing, I'm gonna move it out of frame. So right now it will just like appear on one, on one frame. Then I'm gonna add a transform effect. This transform effect will allow us to move into the to zoom into the eye. So I can just uh, collapse this effect and work just with the transform. Um, one thing though, I want to be at the right frame, so I, you need to check that you're at this frame that you made the last one. So you can add a keyframe that's gonna not move and then. At the last frame, zoom in a lot. Like, you need to barely see your eye around it. Even more. I guess that's okay. Like this. And make sure that your eye is centered and everything is okay. Right now though, it zooms in really linearly, so I'm gonna add a few keyframes to help it move uh, slower. So like, I'm gonna add a keyframe here and move it a bit to the right. So like it will be slower what i need to <laughs> change everything to linear so it doesn't move weirdly uh, same for the last one so it zooms in and then it zooms in even faster and i want it to be even faster for the last one so i'm gonna add another keyframe linear keyframe and move it to the right even even more so it zooms in it zooms in faster and it zooms in even faster and i want another step where it's even even faster. So I'm gonna add a keyframe here, a linear one, I should change it here. Okay, and even like here. So Center is okay. Okay, and then it's very fast at the end. Perfect. Then you can just copy and paste it to the bottom, remove the rotoscoping, and you have your zoom into your eye. Uh, yeah, it looks like it didn't do anything, the rotoscoping, but like it's just if I hide this one, it, yeah. I'm gonna need that because when I will make my landscape appear, I want it to be um, like appear gradually. So I'm gonna add a dissolve kind of in a way. It's not really dissolve because I want it to have keyframes. So I'm gonna use a composite transition here composite and at the last frame it will be fully opaque and at the first frame it will not be and in the middle i want it to be not at 50 percent but like less like 30 like 25 even like i don't want it to be seen too much you know so yeah that's good uh so like this is almost complete but like there's clearly a problem here. Uh, I'm just gonna add a transform effect to this clip. 
and it solves everything. It's kind of weird. Like sometimes it behaves weirdly with between the composites and the transforms. And I think the MLT is another weird thing that doesn't always really work well, but well. So I'm gonna check when my eye um, starts taking all of the screen and is here. If I am not zoomed in fully at this frame, I will have black bars. So I'm gonna add a keyframe on the transform here so that it's like it's the 100% one. At the first one, it's gonna be way smaller. Um, just like find a bit bigger than the eye, you know, but not too much. And then in between, it will not be linear because I added some keyframes to the other one. So I'm just gonna add a keyframe in the middle maybe. But like this one won't be an, as noticeable, so it's not. It doesn't really matter that much, you know. And so we're done for the first one, I think. And zoom. Hey, I will just pre-render quickly. Okay, so what does it look like? It's actually quite nice. I might want it a bit faster, but I'm not even sure. I kind of like that you can see that it appears. I like it like this. So. As I showed you in the beginning, I have a second one that I want to show you. It's the same thing, but with a rotation. So the only thing you're going to add is a rotate effect. So you can just take rotate keyframeable and drag it onto your top track and move it up once to be above the transform effect. And you're going to go to your first keyframe here, add a keyframe so that this one doesn't move. And at the end of your zoom, you want to be uh, rotated. Maybe not a full rotation, you can decide how much you want, so I'm just gonna stop here. But you can see that it's not uh, fully in the center anymore, so I'm just gonna move it with the offset. It's kind of weird how it works, because it depends on the X and Y that's like at the beginning, like the original ones. So you, you kind of get used to it. Uh, it's easier if you just scroll with your mouse. Okay, so this is really centered. I'm just gonna check that it looks roughly in the center the whole time. It's not too bad. So I'm just gonna keep it like this and I'm gonna make it go faster at the end, uh, like I did with the zoom. I need to kind of turn quickly. So uh, I will like take this frame maybe and move it a bit to the right. So that it turns fast at the end. And I'm going to add something similar to the landscape. But first I need to drag this rotate effect and drag it to my bottom clip and put it in the right place. So they move together, you know, again. Uh, one thing you can see is that there's clearly a, uh, a black problem. So I'm just going <laughs> to remove the first rotate, the one at the bottom, and I'm going to work on the first one. Here, you can see that uh, if I hide the bottom one, it will be easier. So there's black bars at the top and the bottom. And uh, that's because we zoom in too fast for the rotation. So I'm just going to add a point here and rotate less. And here, it can't be any less. And then we have another problem right here where it needs to be less rotated as well. Okay. And I hope we don't have any more. No, the rest is good. And so I'm just gonna drag it again at the bottom. So yeah, you need to adjust that depending on your clip on how you made the effect, you know. So as I was saying, we're also gonna rotate the landscape. So I'm just gonna add the rotate keyframeable effect here. I'm gonna move the transform and put the transform on top. So at this frame, it needs to not be rotated anymore. So I'm just gonna add this one for, like this is the end, you know, pretty much. Well, actually it can be a bit rotated here, but not too much. I'm just gonna move it a tiny bit, the tiniest bit. I even can move actually the transform, I think, maybe one frame since I turned the eye now. Anyway, here we stop moving, here we're turned. We're gonna turn the other way. Maybe like this, I don't know. And here we don't really need to matter to take care of like offsets and stuff, so that's nice. 
And now it depends on if you want the same kind of rotation. If you do, you need to have uh, a quick rotation at the end, actually. So it needs to be less rotated here. And let's see what that looks like. Okay, it's <laughs> a bit buggy because... Uh, well, I don't know why. Oh yeah, I'm just going to add a keyframe at the end. I, I think it will help. Yes. And I'm going to pre-render and see what that looks like. Okay, so pre-rendering is done. Let's see. That's pretty cool. Well, I mean, it's kind of weird. But like, in the scope of eye transition effects, it's cool, you know. But like, the effect itself, I think it's kind of weird. But like, if you like it, good for you. Use it, you know. It, I think it can look nice. But yeah. Anyhow, uh, this is the end. I hope you liked it. As always, there's the request form in the description. And oh yeah, what do you think of my outro? Honestly, like I'm so proud of it. I think it looks really neat. Well, bye bye.